वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंड सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स लेट एस फर्स्ट वी विल सी अबाउट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स In complementary angle, the sum of the measures of two angles is ninety degree. Then that angles are said to be the complementary angles. Let us see one example. Here, I will draw. one right angle angle p q r as it is right angle its measure is 90 degree let us plot point s in its interior part now draw ray qs when we will draw ray qs the angle pqr get divided into two angles that is angle pqs and angle sqr if we add the measure of these two angles that is measure of angle pqs plus measure of angle sqr it is equal to 90 degree as angle pqr is right angle and its measure is 90 degree then we will say that these two angles that is angle pqs and angle sqr are complementary angles friends the pairs of complementary angles may be the part of one angle or two different angles let us learn about the two different angles here i will draw two different angle first angle is angle a b c suppose its measurement is 30 degree now i will draw second angle angle l m n it suppose its measurement is 60 degree if we add the measure of these two angle that is measure of angle abc plus measure of angle lmn is equal to the measure of angle abc is 30 degree and measure of angle lmn is 60 degree if we add this we will get 90 degree then we will say that angle abc and angle lmn are complementary angles friends keep watching this video till the end because at the end of the video i am going to tell a trick to remember measures of complementary and supplementary angles friends before moving to supplementary angles uh, we will revise within a couple of minute about the straight angles here i will draw one line suppose line x z y is the point on the line then the measure of angle x y z is 180 degree as it forms a straight line so this is called as the straight angle this we will use for the supplementary angle coming back to our point that is supplementary angles when the sum of the measures of two angle is Y 
180 degree then we will say that the two angles are the supplementary angles let us study one example about it here i will draw one straight angle angle x y and z angle x y z is the straight angle now i will plot point c in its interior part draw ray y c when i will draw ray y c the angle x y z get divided into two angles that is angle c y x and angle c y z as we know that angle x y z is the straight angle so the measure of angle x y z is 180 degree as it is straight angle and if we add the measure of these two angle that is measure of angle c y x plus measure of angle c y z it will be equal to 180 degree then we will see that um, we will say that angle c y x and angle c y z are supplementary angles like complementary angle the pairs of supplementary angles may be the part of one angle or they may be the two different angles let us consider the example of two different angles here i will draw two angles angle m and t suppose its measurement is 40 degree the second one angle is angle e f g suppose its measurement is 140 degree now if we will add the measure of these two angles that is measure of angle m and t plus measure of angle e f g it is equal to the measure of angle m and t is 40 degree measure of angle e f g is 140 degree if when we will add these two numbers we will get sum is 180 degree then we can say that this two angle that is angle m and t and angle e f g are supplementary angles friends now let us see the trick to remember complementary angles and supplementary angles for complementary angle we write c for supplementary angles we write s now this c we get convert into 9 like this so we will keep in mind that the when the sum of the measures of two angle is 90 degree then that two angles will be the complementary angles now this s we will get we will convert into 8 like this so when the sum of the measures of two angles is equal to 180 degree then we will say that that two angles will be supplementary angles now let's see about the vertically opposite angles this vertically opposite angles form when two line intersect with each other like suppose line ab and line cd line ab and line cd intersect each other at point o when this line intersect with with each other they form four angles like angle aod angle dob angle boc 
and angle AOC. Among all these angles, there are two pairs of vertically opposite angle. Angle AOD and angle BOC. This is the one or first pair of vertically opposite angle and the second pair is angle DOB and angle AOC are vertically opposite angles. Now let's see the property of these vertically opposite angles. Property is that the measure of the vertically opposite angle are equal. That is the measure of angle AOD is equal to measure of angle BOC. Again for angle DOB the measure of angle DOB is equal to measure of angle AOC. That means the, the measure of the vertically opposite angles are equal measure. This was all about the angles and the pairs of angles. Thank you. As per the student's request, we are going to start a new series for 10th standard which will cover the first topic, similarity. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.